Give me a thumbs up if you can see this. Looks good. Yeah, Perfect. All right, let's dive in. So I, uh, I'm from Pressbooks. Uh, my name is Sarah Fennessy. I am the sales executive here. Uh, you can reach me if you have any questions after this uh, presentation. You can reach me at sales at pressbooks.com. I will say we are a very small team. There's just eight of us. So you can rest assured that that email is going directly to me as the only sales agent uh, on this team. Um, so to give a, a quick introduction of, of why I want to be presenting about Pressbooks today and how it's relevant in this day and age right now, um, I think the force to push everything online this past year has definitely exposed some longstanding challenges um, that have been ever present. So things like uh, the exorbitant cost of textbooks, I mean, that's always been a problem for students, but right now with everyone's budget uh, being spread very thin, um, that's definitely something that, that is of a bigger concern. Uh, furthermore, if you're using um, commercial textbooks, uh, you don't really have the ability to edit or adapt those or customize those for your courses. You often have to rate, uh, wait for the next edition to be released um, for new studies or new information to be added to the, the most recent text. Um, with everything going online, uh, accessibility issues are definitely um, a concern to make sure that um, all of this online technology is accessible by, by all of the students on campus. And then finally, uh, we want to make sure that our students' data is safe. So the reason I'm highlighting these things is because these are also very uh, much top of mind for press books. Uh, we are definitely firm believers of uh, zero textbook costs for students, um, the ability to remix and adapt materials and customize them for your course. Uh, everything we build in press books is always built with accessibility in mind. And then we take extra steps to just make sure that uh, any data that um, enters our system is, is private and safe and uh, cannot be, be accessed by anyone outside of the institution. So let's dive into uh, what Pressbooks is, what you can do with Pressbooks, what are the different features. So with Pressbooks, uh, what you get uh, when you get a Pressbooks uh, institutional network, you get your own branded network where you can uh, play around with the um, adding your logo, changing the colors of these text blocks. So this is a, a network that is hosted online. You don't need to download anything. You simply need the URL to be able to log into it. Um, you can host this on a URL that you own and operate. Uh, so you don't have to use a Pressbooks domain. You can keep it consistent with your, uh, your school's branding. And this is where your faculty would come in, uh, log in to start, start creating and editing uh, their textbooks. It can also be a way for you to surface all of the books that have been produced by your institution and, and have a nice way for people to, to search and discover those, those materials. Next, uh, what I wanted to talk about is with Pressbooks at the core of what Pressbooks does is the ability to create um, a web book. So these are online texts that can be read online and are openly accessible to anyone with the URL. So any book you create will have its own custom URL that students can go to to access the text. Uh, this is just a basic example of a book's web page where you can see the title, a brief description of the book. Um, you've got a button here to, to go through and read the text online. And you also have the ability to surface download links for your readers. So sometimes not everyone's gonna have access to, to Wi-Fi. So uh, it is always a, a best practice to, to download the copy for, for that offline reading in case it is needed. So you can surface download options such as uh, PDFs, uh, EPUBs, MOBIs, um, all of this for, for your students and, and other readers of that content. Next, I'm going to dive into some of the features uh, that you have access to through the editing platform. So one of those is uh, MathJax. So MathJax is a plugin that's built into Pressbooks, and this allows you to create accessible math notation. So not only does it allow you to produce uh, formula that, that actually look uh, the way math notation is supposed to look, but it is also built in a way that allows this, this to be accessible for students. So oftentimes uh, some formula or equations will have those really tiny exponents that are hard to read. So we've built some access, or MathJax has some accessible uh, factors built into it, such as click to zoom. So this is an example of what that looks like. It allows you to expand the image of that formula or that equation so that you can uh, ensure that all students can, can read it a little bit better. Furthermore, uh, it is compatible with screen readers. Um, so that is, is definitely a, a perk there of using that if you're using any um, texts that are heavy in equations. Next, you have the ability to add different multimedia files 
to, uh, to your text. So here's an example of a music text where you can see the instructor included the audio file to go along with the score. So students can listen to parts of their text uh, if you want to embed audio. You can also embed video. So if I click through here, um, this is another music text. Uh, you can see that the instructor has embedded some YouTube videos at the beginning of her chapters. So this is actually the instructor herself teaching the lesson at the beginning of the chapter. So students can go through, click to play that, and then scroll down and continue reading the rest of the chapter. So she, all she needed to do was copy and paste the link to her YouTube video, and she was able to easily embed that directly into the chapter. If I navigate back here, we will move along. Uh, in addition to those multimedia elements such as audio, video, GIFs, uh, and the like, you can also build out interactive activities for your texts. So with Pressbooks, you get access to the H5P Hub, so you can create an unlimited amount of these interactive activities. And there are a number of different activity types that you can choose from. So you can build test your knowledge quiz sets with different question types, such as multiple choice, true or false, uh, fill in the blanks, things like that. You can also create study tools for your students like flashcards. Um, and if you have all, you already have some H5P content created or um, there's H5P that obviously already lives out there in the OER ecosystem, you can pull that in and just upload this uh, into your Pressbooks network and then embed those materials throughout, uh, throughout the text. So here's an example of what a quiz that would look like. So this is one that was built on H5P. I'll actually just navigate directly to the chapter itself with the quiz so that you can see what it looks like and the interactive element of it. So here's the chapter 11 quiz. The student could go through, start the quiz, uh, see if they understood the lesson. They could go on to the next question uh, and check their answers. And if they get that wrong, this teacher has uh, allowed them to see the uh, solution here. So we can see this one is, uh, is the right answer. So they could go through and retry it there. So that's just an example of, of a quiz set and they can skim along to the other questions in there. So next with Pressbooks, you also have the ability to clone existing OER built uh, within the Pressbooks ecosystem into your Pressbooks network and edit it and adapt it from there. So, so we make it really easy to clone these materials. So all you would need is the URL of the book in question, and then you could pull it directly into uh, your Pressbooks network so long as it is openly licensed and then you can edit it and adapt it from there and then republish it um, under your own school's uh, network and it would pull over all of the attributions of that code cloning process so you would get all of the original metadata in with that text. Furthermore, you also have the ability uh, to produce a number of different export formats, one of them being the thin common cartridge exports uh, with web links. So this enables you to package up your entire textbook uh, into a thin common cartridge file and pull it directly into an LMS. So this would be one way that you could uh, display your text to students so that they don't need to navigate away from the LMS to access that material and they can read it directly from there without having to uh, link away to another URL. So this is what um, it would look like in Canvas. Uh, because we're using the thin common cartridge uh, file with web links, it does show up in an iframe here. And because it is with web links, uh, the book would first need to be published to the web. Um, if you would prefer to keep your text private, we do also offer an add-on, which is the LTI integration. So you can securely integrate uh, your Pressbooks network with your LMS and pull seamlessly pull content in and display it directly within the LMS without uh, this iframe. So I can give you a sample of what that would look like. Oops, I think I actually already have it open here. So you can see that gray iframe in Canvas is now gone and the student can go through uh, and read the text directly from there without ever having to navigate away. Next, uh, if you were to opt in for that LTI integration, you would be able to use our Pressbooks results service, which enables you to uh, record student performance um, on those various H5P activities uh, directly into the LMS gradebook. So you can start to get a sense of how students are performing. And uh, not only does this enable you to build um, OER, you can also really use Pressbooks to build out courseware and build out assignments for your students. Uh, 
Um, so that's kind of a, a neat direction that, that we've seen a lot of institutions go with how they're using Pressbooks. And then finally here, I wanted to show you the Pressbooks directory. So this is a very new project. I, I think we're gonna be doing the official release um, within the next two weeks here, which I'm very excited for. Uh, and we've built this directory that has pulled all of the public content produced by all of the different Pressbooks networks uh, out there. And it's pulled in all the content for you to search and discover it in one place. And if you find some material that you would like to edit and adapt, you could pull that into your Pressbooks network. If you don't have a Pressbooks network and you don't need to edit or adapt the material, you could simply use this tool to discover materials online and provide your students with a link to that material so they could read it for free. Um, so it's a free tool that anyone can have access to. Right now, the directory is uh, hosted on our staging site right now. Uh, when the formal release happens, um, it will simply be hosted at pressbooks.directory. And then you can go through and search and discover text. So right now we've got uh, a little over 5,000 different books that have been uh, produced across uh, 79 different Pressbooks networks. And you can go through and search and discover. So we've got a number of different filters here, but we also have a global keyword search. So I'll just quickly do uh, a quick demo of what the search would look like. So let's take uh, nursing, for example. So nursing texts, uh, as well as economic texts, they're, they're always kind of notorious for being uh, very expensive. So here I've done a quick search. I've come up with 20 OER materials that are available for me to use. And I can scroll through and see uh, what has been produced uh, across various different um, Pressbooks networks. Uh, and there's a great one down here um, that was produced by Chippewa Valley Technical College, uh, Nursing Pharmacology. Um, one of the reasons I love this one so much is it does have a number of H5P activities embedded throughout. So this book has 43 activities. Now let's say you were building out a nursing text and uh, you wanted to add some interactive elements, but you didn't want to build all of those from scratch. What you could do is uh, surface uh, a list of the H5P activities from this text, and then you could download them and upload them directly into your Pressbooks network to repurpose them. So I'll give you an idea of what that looks like. When we do our public release, this button will be clickable, but for now I just have a quick little workaround, which is to add H5P listing to the URL and that will pull up a full page of all of the uh, questions. So I can see what type of H5P activity um, it is. I can go through and look at uh, the activity to see if it's one that I might want to reuse and repurpose. And we'll just give it a second to load there. And then if it is one that I do want to uh, use within my course, so if I go through all the questions, they, they look like something that I might find relevant. I would simply click that reuse button, download it, and then I could pull it directly uh, into my Pressbooks network and reuse it within a, a course of my choosing. So that was the bulk of what I wanted to share with you today. I think I rushed through that very quickly and uh, if because I didn't want to, uh, to go over time, but um, maybe I will stop sharing and see if I missed any questions in the chat because I must admit I did not have a chance to look at that yet. <laughs> All right. There are a couple of questions, Sarah. So let's start with a, with a fairly straightforward one. Like, can books only be produced if you have access to an institutional network? No. So we also offer faculty author licenses that give you access to all of the features that I just showed you today. So if you're at an institution that doesn't have its own Pressbooks network, there are still options for you. We also have a freemium version of Pressbooks. So this comes with limited features, but the accounts are free to create. And uh, there would just be a one-time book fee of $19.99 or $99 to uh, publish to the web and produce um, those exports, for example, PDF for print. Uh, so there are a number of options for you if you don't have an institutional Pressbooks network. So that's a great question. Um, and then I see Delmar has asked a more uh, techie kind of question around the use of H5P. Um, I can see you reading it right now. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'll read that out loud for everyone who's not looking at the, uh, at the chat there. So it was a question about the use of H5P in Pressbooks. Um, this tech is client-side tech and is easily hacked by talented students. As an instructor, I wouldn't allow such a loophole. Is there a way to make a more secure summative 
uh, homework system? So this is, uh, this is a great question, especially with these books being um, published online. If the student has the URL to the, to the text, um, they could definitely go through without you knowing uh, who they are uh, because we don't record IP addresses and they could go and test out those activities. So the reason why uh, this is relevant is because if people are pulling this into um, the LMS and they wanna record student grades, you really wanna think of this um, as a formative assessment and not a summative assessment uh, because there is that loophole. So it's just a way to get uh, gauge a sense of, of students and how they're, where they are in the, the text, if they're understanding the text, um, it gives you just some high level overviews of that, but it wouldn't be used for, uh, for example, an exam or a midterm exam, because there is that, that issue there where the student could um, test out the questions uh, in advance and, uh, and get some of the answers there. So it's, it's really more so seen as a, as a study tool at this present time. All right, let's see if... Uh, I think you've answered almost everything. You can see some some people are impressed to see the level of interactivity <laughs> now available in Pressbooks. So that's fantastic. Oh, that's great. Um, did I miss a question there? Sorry, I'm just frantically scrolling through the, the chat to see if there was anything uh, in there that I missed. I don't um, think so. I think that was everything. Well, thank you guys so much for um, being here with me today and, and letting <laughs> me share all of this with you. And if you have any more questions or you want to see a custom demo tailored uh, for you and your situation or your institution, I'm available uh, and you can reach me at sales at pressbooks.com.